Hey guys, welcome back to the Golf Club 2. Today we're going to try out this Jupiter Ridge course. This has came highly recommended to me by a lot of my subscribers and guys who I'm on uh, forums with. This was designed by Arctic Fury. It is his first course that he's designed on the Golf Club 2. Um, so let's see how it plays. As you can see here, hole one's a par 4. 384 yards, stroke index is 8. A slight wind to our left. Eight mile per hour to be precise. I would put a great swing on that. I have got to grips with this controller, guys. It's taken me a while to. Uh, it's taken me a good five six rounds to pick it up. Actually playing with a, a controller that's not broken. Um, so hopefully we can put in a good score here. That's going to leave us ninety four yards. Gonna have to be the gap wedge, I feel. Have we took enough off of it? Ah, uh, it's just gonna be long. We didn't get any spin back, but once again, guys, I just can't get the grips with the loft and the loft and the clubs. But hopefully, eventually, we will get more consistent with it. So we've left ourselves a a 12 foot birdie putt. Is it gonna turn? Oh, and it is, and we start off with a birdie, nice. So beautiful first hole, really enjoyed it. Hole two is also a par four, this is a shorter one, 394 yards, and the stroke index is six. It's playing 339 to the pin. Wow, look at this, it's like a horseshoe shaped fairway. Hopefully we can just hold the edge of the the fairway here and not run in at the light rough. But if we do, it's no real issue as the, the pin's really close to us. And that's a slow swing we put on that. This is a beauty. But the perfect slow doesn't really seem to affect the ball flight. Oh, we're just going to kick out. So we did overshoot well, the fairway. I'm all right. I'm a, I'm not a computer. But not to worry, that is leaving us 85 yards. Up five feet. So once again, it's probably going to have to be the gap wedge. We've adjusted the the, the loft. Oh, and we've played a beauty. Oh, look at that. We couldn't have dialed that in any closer if we tried. If we did get any closer, it would have been in the hole. So hopefully this is going to be an hour of birdie. So we're two under for through two holes. So far so good guys. I do feel that maybe this is a course that's designed to to shoot low on. It plays like a real course to be honest. And this is a par 3. Playing 165 yards. Well protected by a few bunkers at the front and one at the back if you overshoot. So I'm probably going to have to play the 6 iron here. Loft it up ever so slightly. I think I just put too much on it there. Hopefully the wind's going to take us round. The wind is slightly in our favour. Diagonal left. Oh, we've put another slow on it. I do feel this looks quite decent. Is it going to hold? No, we're just going to leave ourselves a chip. So the last two or three swings we've put out there, guys, has been perfect slow. It's not really a flecked in the flight. I have corrected that perfect fast. Can we chip in here? Oh, we try to use the flag stick to stop us. It just didn't drop. We would just over hit that a bit. So that's back to par. So we're still two under for the day. And we're now moving on to the fourth. So guys, I'm really enjoying this, this course so far. If any of you guys have got any courses that you'd really like me to check out, and uh, showcase on the channel, please do say say so in the comments, um, and I will definitely look at look at them. Oh, it's a ten mile per, ten mile per hour wind against. I'm confident we can drive this. We're swinging well. There's a perfect perfect. Has it got enough carry? It should. Yeah, over it easy. 
over it easy. It was never in doubt. So despite the wind being against us, we still managed to get at 272 yards. 268 yards to the pin with the wind against us. There's no way we're making this. Just got to try and leave this close to the, the pin as possible. Let's see if we can just get it in line with the pin. Hopefully the wind's going to take us round. And it's just going to leave us a, a chip shot or a pitch shot. And once again, it's a clean strike. Is the wind taking us round? Come on, wind. Come on, wind. We should kick out. We have. So we're basically in line with the pin. Oh, look at you skirting danger out there. I stand corrected. So I do feel the, the flop shots there. The one here, 25 yards, let's take a little, little bit off it. And bite. Oh, we just got a bit too much backspin on that. So that's going to leave us a longish putt for birdie. 12 foot putt. Breaking slightly, ever so slightly to the right. Oh, and we managed to drain it just on the outside lip there. So that moves us to, to three under for the round. Three birdies on one par. So far, so good. But I am going to say, guys, I am really, really enjoying this course. Arctic Fury, you have done a great job with this so far. I know I'm only on the fifth hole. The fifth hole is a par four as well. Stroke index 10. 372 yards, and it's playing 337 yards to the pin. Hopefully Arctic Fury is going to design a few more courses, guys, because I feel the time and effort he's put into this it is quite minimalistic. But the pleasing thing is it plays like a real course. Um, the way he's designed it, it's setting, setting the player a challenge to shoot low on it, which is always enjoyable, playing good golf and a good course. So 104 yards, so this is definitely going to be the lob wedge, uh, the gap wedge. Fit it perfect, perfect, maybe shaded it to the right. Yeah, we're going to be bang in line with that there, we just kind of feathered it out to the right. So that's left us a, another 12 foot putt. Breaking both ways here, but nothing severe. Hopefully we're just going to... Leave this where it is, and it's going to work its way at the pin. Is it going to turn? Oh, it just didn't turn until the end, until it passed the hole. So we've left ourselves a, a four feet putt for par. Oh, I thought I missed that. And that'll keep you at three under for the round. So we're still at three under, guys. But so far, guys, Jupiter Ridge is beautiful, and I've just noticed it. Um, one of my friends has joined us. Dan Fretwood has uh, joined her round. It's always nice to see guys. He's on hole four. I'm sure Dan's a subscriber of the channel, a friend of the channel. And that's an awesome swing with putting that, guys. I am, as you can see now, I'm really getting to grips with this. I feel like I've mastered the swing now with this controller with the, the player clubs and a 285 yard drive off the black tees and his next shot's looking to be around 190 yards out. so 192 yards out it's a fair elevation on it as you can see there's a bit of a a slope at the back so let's hope we can hit this hybrid and get the ball rolling back towards the pin because I am going to have to hit the hybrid here there's no doubt in that Hopefully, if we run too far past the hole, the wind, will, the, the wind, the the slope will take us back down towards the the cup. Once again, it's a fantastic swing. The wind's taking us around beautifully. We've not hit the the, the, the green with the pace I I was hoping to, so I doubt that's going to really come back. No. If we did just approach the green with a bit more pace, it would have came back off the slope and worked its way down towards the, the cup. So we've left ourselves an 11 foot putt for birdie. A 
and uh, it's for Eagle. This is for Eagle. Have we drained it? We have. In there for Eagle. So we get our first Eagle of the round. Five under for the round. That's going to move us to five under. Dan's going along nicely as well. He's also three under. Seventh hole coming up. So let's move on to hole seven. 361 yards par four, stroke index 12. It is playing 358 yards to the pin. Looks like there's a house on the left and a road there. If you're seeing that with street lights, why? So as you can see, Arctic Fury's put a lot of time and effort into this, guys. Great contact. Nice swing. And once again, we're swinging really, really well. And that's going to put us right down the middle of the fairway. As you can see, guys, the fairways are quite generous. Um, some lovely views with the, the forestry and the, the hills and mountains in the background. Really nice design course. All right, 14 feet to the hole. But, um, to my knowledge, this is not a real course, guys. But it actually looks like a real course and it really does play like a real course. We've just set that out too far and that's going to keep travelling. Why? So we're going to leave ourselves a tricky par pat here. Oh, why stop? So, this could be our first drop shot of the day. I was hoping to go round here like dropping, so we've left ourselves a 15 foot pat for par. Breaking both ways again. Oh, this looks good if it turns. Turn, turn, turn. Yes, and that's a great par save. A great par save. Okay, so that'll keep you at five under for the round. So we stay at five under. Eight hole. So we move on to hole eight, 183 yards, par three, stroke index zero, which is impossible, and it's playing 203 yards to the pin. So once again, we're going to have to jack up our hybrid. The wind's really behind us with eight mile per hour. Hopefully we can swing as well as we have done here. Once again, it's another precise swing from me. For the green here. This could be nice. This could be really nice. Oh, just passed on the left-hand side. And we're probably going to leave ourselves about a 15-foot nice. putt for birdie. 13. Slightly bacon to the right. Turn, turn, turn. Yes, and we drain it. So we move to six under. Six under for the round. So, so far, guys, we're having a really good round. This course is here to be beat. I'm really enjoying this course, guys. I highly recommend it. The majority of courses I have played lately has been a real challenge, um, but this one here is encouraging you to be attacking and you're getting rewarded for good golf shots. Once again, our swing is really good. I do feel now, guys, I could make the transition to tour clubs. Um, my current... Ah, oh, we're going to hold the edge of fairway. Stay on, stay on. Ah, oh, we've just trickled off. Um, my current opinion on the tour clubs is there's not a huge, huge advantage making the transition from player to tour. There is a huge advantage playing the player clubs over the standard. But just now, at the moment, I'm not convinced that there is a huge advantage from the, the nice. player clubs to the tour. We need that to bite. Ah, we've just overshot that. And once again, guys, we're just, it's just the, the lofting and de-lofting the clubs. I can't seem to get any consistency going with that. I can't seem to be accurate with it. But um, I do feel the next round I play, guys, I am going to try the tour clubs. I do feel I could control them, especially this control pad now that I'm finding. I just found it covered in dust in my sitting room drawer. So I did manage to blow the dust off it and so far we've kind of mastered it. It is a joy playing my controller, it's not a, got a broken analogue stick and I don't think we've hit this enough. No, 
was a tough putt. We've left ourselves about a good 10, 11 feet. Oh, it's eight feet. Eight feet putt for par. Just a slight break to the left, nothing too aggressive. And that looks good. In the center of the cup. Nine feet putt for par. Okay, so that will keep you. So let's start the back nine. Hole 10 is an also a par four, stroke index 11, playing 394, 200, uh, 300, sorry, 386 yards to the cup. Hopefully the wind takes us back round to the left. That's a perfect, perfect. Come on wind, come on wind, the wind's not taking us round, are we going to get a nice kick? Yeah, and we, for once there guys, we got a favourable kick. The wind just did not take us round there at all. I was really amazed at that. Sweet. So we've got a short approach shot. I do feel it's going to have to be the lob wedge. Just jack it up a bit. Don't really want to be short as you're seeing the balls come back off the green. Or trickle down to the far far edge of it and once again it's a good swing is the wind going to take us round it is ah we're short nice nah and as you've seen there guys like i said with a slope i would rather we actually went off the green but it doesn't look like we are so that's going to be another long putt just again guys i just cannot get to grips with it the lofting or deal off in the clubs it just doesn't seem doesn't seem consistent so as you're seeing it's a 30 foot putt one foot uphill. Have we hit that enough? We have. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, we couldn't, could we? Oh, look at that. So, we're going to walk away with par. Great putt in there. Par. And that'll keep you at six under. For so, the we stay at six under. Dan Fretwood stays at four under. He's going along nicely Coming also. Par on the last one. Let's see what happens here. So, we're playing off the black tees, guys. Pin number set. Pin number set. What am I speaking about? Let me put my teeth back in. We are playing pin set number one. And I do feel we could maybe drive this with a favourable bounce. It's a bit of a risk coming over the water, but the way I'm swinging this now, I've got full confidence in it. Man, did you ever launch and we've absolutely launched that. Are we going to get a kind bounce to come back down the slope? Oh no! I tried to kick into that slope because you can see the greens in two, but this is going to be an awful pack, guys. So I'm maybe going to regret. I should have maybe just laid up short and look at this pack. 50 feet. 60 feet. Two feet down. And we just need to get this ball going to the slope and no more because otherwise we're going to be right through. So as you see, I'm just checking the, the break on the top part of the green. If you're right side of the grid, it's a good tip. Has that got enough to get to the slope? It just made it go on, trickle down. Oh, look at the speed it's gathering. And wow. We're going to have a long putt for birdie now. We've almost went off the green there. That was going to be near impossible to hold that. So we've left ourselves an 18 foot putt for birdie. But he can just gently to the right. If anything, really, is it even coming over to where I'm playing the ball? That first line is just coming over to our line of, line of travel. And it's not turned, it's not turned. Oh, so look at that, guys. We were on the green and one on a par four. And we're going to walk away with a par. I do feel we should have got a birdie there. Should have maybe played smart. It's not always an advantage of hitting the green and one. So let's move on to hole number 12. Another par 4, stroke index 1. 435 yards, 433 to the pin. That's another great swing. And as you can see, guys, we're really swinging well now. Everything's perfect, perfect, straight down the middle. So according to Arctic Fury, this is one of the tougher holes on his course with a stroke index 1. Looking at around 155 yards out from here. So 154 yards, 
plus the elevation. Just going to take a tiny, as you've seen that guys, I just touched that as gently as I could the 7 iron. Just take a tiny bit off it. Hopefully the wind's going to do us a favour and take us round. As you can see, the ball's just going to shoot out left. It's a good swing we've put in that. Is the wind going to take us round? It's not taking us much round as much as I hope. Jeez. Sometimes the wind has no effect in this. It's two or three times in this course and this round that the wind's not took us round at all. So that's now a 13 foot putt for birdie. This is certainly makeable. Very gentle break to the right. And that looks good. Is it going to turn? It is right in the centre of the cup. And there's another birdie, guys. So, so far is that a seven under. That's the first putt birdie of the back nine. So we move on to the to the 13th, which is unlucky for some, hopefully it's not going to be for me. All right. Let's it's a par 4, 310 yards, stroke index 9, playing 278 to the pin. Jeez, you could almost drive this. Let's see if we can drive this. No, no chance. Not with that um, angle. Well, actually, I don't know. Will we go for it? Yeah. We've put a great swing on it. And we've managed to get over the rough. Wow. And that is going to leave us a short chip or pitch into the, into the nice. green. 18 yards. Do you know what? I am going to try a chip shot here, guys, because the flop shot i not mastered yet. Oh, it's going to be short, is it? Trickle up, trickle up, trickle up. It's actually not bad. I'm quite happy with that, guys. I'm pretty confident that we can pat this for an hour birdie. We've left it six feet from the from the cup. Once again, it's a minimalistic break, and we've just that rammed awesome. that straight in the jaws, taking the break out of it. So that's another birdie. Sitting at eight under so as you can see, as John says, we move to eight under, and we move on to par five. Okay, let's put this ball. Stroke there. index 15, playing 568 yards. It is playing. I can't see the flag pin. Not sure what it's playing, guys. It's obviously a dog leg right. With a wind behind us here, and the way we've hit that, this should really carry us fairly down the fairway. Oh. Once again, we got a favourable bind, so we've managed to get that out there about 302 yards. 256 yards to the pin, but as you can see, 42 feet down, there's no way I'm hitting my 3 wood. Let's go back to my, well, no, hold on. Uh, yeah, let's check out the one iron, guys, because I do feel we could get this running up off the fairway, take a tiny bit off it. We could maybe get this running up onto the green. Maybe push that a wee bit right, but the wind's going to take us around, and this could be nice. Go on, travel, travel. Oh. And we've left ourselves another eagle opportunity. It's just trickled on a bit further than what I'd hoped. It looks like we're going to have a slightly downhill putt here. So 13 feet, 2 inches down. This is for eagle. Quite an aggressive break to the left. I've not hit that. No. Oh, so, close. so that's going to leave us a four foot putt for a birdie. The hole. You can do this. So it's another Nine birdie, nine. guys. We missed the eagle. Nine under for the round. So that's us now currently sitting at nine under. Dan's sitting at six under, so he's going along really nice as well. 15th hole, coming 15th hole is 122 yards par 3, stroke index 5, playing 133 yards to the pin. 
Got the wind in her face. Just take a bit off this 9 iron piece. As you can see, the green is in two parts, really. You don't want to be short. Let's just set it right at the pin. Hopefully, the wind's going to take us round. I think we're just going to be way left of it. We're left and long, but I'd rather be long. Oh, are we sloping back towards it? We are. Wow, it's actually turned into a really good shot. Okay, nice approach. Okay, let's see what you can do with this seven, seven foot putt for birdie. This is going to test our putting. Break into the left. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, we just didn't get it to drop. We just caught the outside right, edge. So that is going to be a par. So as you can see, guys, this is a lovely course. I highly recommend it. Please go try it out. And um, like I've said before, if you got any courses that you guys can recommend to me, please tell me in the comment section. Um, as you can see, it's really good to get awarded for good golf shots, guys. This is what it's all about. This is why we play the game. To shoot low scores. Test our ability. And hopefully that's going to stay... Yeah, we've just made it. It should kick over, no problem. Yeah. All right, looking at uh, 120 yards or so. To so we've left ourselves 121 yards. The wind's slightly in our face and moving to the left, so we'll have to just take a tiny bit off of this pitching wedge. It's quite a tough green, so if you're not perfect here, guys could be awkward. I'm just hoping to get in between the two, just past the pin. Hopefully this is just past the pin. A great swing on that again. Just be past the pin and come back. Yeah, is it going to hit that slope? Ah, oh, no, I thought we might have rolled back down towards the pin. But that was a good shot, guys, because if you were short or long there, you had a really awkward putt. So we gave ourselves an our birdie opportunity, 10 foot. Slowly breaking to the right. I'm just going to set this on that. Oh, just the left side of the cup. Turn. Oh, yeah, it's like once again, it's a good putt. So that is us now 10 under. And sitting at 10 under now for the round. With three holes to play. So, so far, guys, we're playing really, really well. Okay, 17th hole. Take your best shot. So 17th is 220 on yards, par 3, stroke index 7. 221 yards to the pin. Look at that slope. I think we could use that slope to our advantage. Maybe try and gently hit this slope and see if it's going to roll towards the cup. Yeah, we're just going to have to hit six wood, guys. Take a bit off of it. Jack it up. We are quite in between clubs here. The wind is in our face now. So let's see if we can hit that slope and get it rolling down towards the pin. It's another great swing, true swing. Looks like this Come on. Oh, this could be good. Come on, roll left, roll left, roll left. Oh, it just didn't roll left like we had hoped and it's kind of travelled on, guys. So we are going to have a long putt for birdie. The execution was there. Just outcome didn't come how it should have been or how we had hoped. So a 24... 24 foot putt for birdie. I'm just hoping to get this close and get a par save. We've not hit it. Good putt though, so we are going to get a par. But I just want to say thank you guys. My channel is slowly gathering momentum. I am picking up subscribers daily. My target is to eventually get to 1,000 subscribers, guys. I am a fair way off that. I think I'm currently 770 something subscribers. So I have got a fair bit to go, so I'm not setting any timeline on it. I just appreciate you guys stopping by my channel, giving me a like, and if you are enjoying the content and you're new to it, give me a subscribe. It's much appreciated. I do interact with all my subscribers, guys. As you can see, guys, we're swinging really, really well. Hopefully, the, the next time... Uh, it will be the tour clubs, guys, because I do feel we can make that step up now, and we will see if it is worth the the risk. Sweet. So 
one's looking like around 220 to the pin. So 222 yards left to the pin. One keeps fluctuating. We should be able to get on here in two. Is one going to take us right? We've put a great strike on that. Come on, wind. Come on, wind. Come on, wind. Kick right. We're just going to be in the rough, I think. No, it's just held up. So the wind just didn't take us around like I'd hoped. Maybe set it too far, but sometimes it's more beneficial just being short. Hopefully we can get this near the pin and get our birdie. So I'm going to persevere with the chip shot, guys. Just loft it up. Is that going to feed down towards? Go on. Is it in? Is it in? Oh, and that's another eagle we've just missed by inches. So, guys, that's the end of this round. Beautiful course. I really hope you've enjoyed this. As you can see, it was a 61. We finished with 11 under par. I'm going to give this a 5. And I'm certainly going to favour it. And hopefully check out, see if uh, Arctic Fury's got any more courses that he's edited or created. So there we go guys, 11 under. I really hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, bye.